My name is Luca, Luca Lampariello, uh, I'm Italian and I work as a language coach. A language coach helps people figure out what the best method for them or way for these students is to learn a language by themselves. Basically we're going to do a master class in Spanish. We're going to spend a few hours uh, getting into the mechanics and dynamics of language learning. I'm trying to learn Spanish because I'm going to Cuba in three weeks time. I'm coming from a place where I've never properly formally learned a language before. What I hope to achieve is to change his mindset, to tell him, man, you can do it, and this is how you can do it. The first tip is actually to clarify the student's objectives and goals. It's really important because it gives you a direction of what, how, and when to do something. Uh, the course in this masterclass is basically going to hinge on your answers. If your goal is to learn Spanish fluently in the long run, we're doing something. If the goal is to be able to communicate and enjoy your trip, that's another matter. Imagine being in a city, you want to reach another city and you have to understand where you're going. Otherwise, you just start the journey and you don't know where to go and you get lost. The second most important step is actually to uh, get input. People want to speak as soon as possible, but I think in, in order to speak you have to understand. So the very first thing is to get comprehensible input that they can consume in order to get their listening comprehension to a great level and start speaking. How and where can you listen to Spanish? I was looking at downloading some podcasts um, to listen to Spanish through that um, and of course you know, using like Babbel and learning online. You have to build your listening comprehension in a progressive way. So my advice would be to, come, to go back and use as much as you can what is called comprehensible input, which is basically audio with texts. So you can use any platform that has text that you can read and understand and then you have audio. It's really important to know what to do and how to do it, but when to do it is extremely important. People say, I have or I don't have time. The truth is that you create time according to your priorities, and I help students plan their time to learn a language according to their goals. First question, how much time do you think you can create for Spanish every day? I think an hour in the, in the evening. You have to try to do something every single day. Preparing beforehand allows you to actually have a plan of action that you can actually execute. Normally I show students that they can communicate and they can start using the language from the very beginning. Me llamo Luca, ¿cómo te llamas tú? Uh, me llamo Harun. Harun, ¿de dónde eres? Uh, soy de Inglaterra. Inglaterra. Uh, la Norte mm -hmm. de Inglaterra. Sí, el Norte. Uh, ¿De dónde? ¿De qué ciudad? Even if you know almost nothing, you can learn a few words and you can start using these words in a conversation with a nice person uh, talking about things you like or talking about personal things. You have to get the information across. That's all that, all, all that counts. Yo he vivido en España sí. cuando yo he tenido uh, siete años. In Latin, they used to say, verba volant sed scripta manent, which means that uh, spoken words fly away and written words stay. You have learned today the word enfermo, right? Now, probably in a few hours, you will not remember this. You know, you think, yeah, of course I'm gonna remember it. And it's very probable that you're gonna forget it. But maybe if tomorrow re you review it, then you will keep forgetting it, but less quickly. Make sure that whatever you do, we have a conversation, you speak the language, whatever, you always have some kind of device that helps you m jot down the things that you're learning on the fly and reuse and review these words. That's extremely important for your memory. Piece of paper and a phone, and you can use a combination of these two to jot down all the things that you're gonna remember. And when you have a great conversation, the very first time you land there, then you will want to have another conversation and another conversation and you will come back here to Berlin and you're gonna say, I wanna learn Spanish, man. I feel pretty excited to take everything that I've learned today and actually really put it into practice. The whole ideas of scheduling and stuff and um, some really simple but effective uh, ideas have kind of been brought into my mind. I felt like I was being taught how to learn a language, not just being taught a language.